Hello dear friends on the, the street today, beautiful day, we're going to be preaching from the Bible, going to give the invitation again, if you don't have a Bible, and you'd like a Bible for yourself, we invite you to come and take a Bible, and I'm going to be reading from the Bible, I'm going to be reading the Word of God, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God, this book is so important, I'm going to read a very simple verse, from the Bible, found in the New Testament of the Bible, and it says, And as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this the judgment. If you don't know, friend, the subject of death as you see in God's Word, as you can see mocked by many in this world, death is something that hits close to home for every single person. We all have exposure interactions with family and friends with this subject of death it's something that is talked about very clearly in the bible it is appointed unto man once to die every single person has a time when they will die it is appointed unto man once to die but after this the judgment there's a very simple thing in this verse that teaches us that if i die in my sins the sins that I've committed against God. If I reject God's remedy, and I live on in the pleasure of my sin, if I go on in that, and I die in that state, the Bible tells me clearly that there is judgment after death. Not heaven for someone who lived a religious life. I was at a funeral once of someone who didn't even believe in God, and the priest was saying that she was in heaven. Friend, that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says that it is appointed unto man once to die, and after this the judgment for someone who is without Christ, with someone who has a heart that is still in sins, someone who is never born again, someone who is still in that state, as is given to us in Romans chapter 5 and verse 11. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death is passed upon all men for that all of sin. Friend, if I was driving to work the other day, and I assume most people know about it, the, the, the death that happened on the 401 in the express, all lanes were closed for most of the day. There is something solemn when you saw that Honda Civic that just plowed into the back of that truck, ushering someone into eternity. Although there are so many other people around that are alive, you see that, that incident where one soul is ushered into eternity, either in heaven or hell. That's what the Bible says. Only two destinations. The solemnity that follows when we realize that someone has died, someone has perished, and not knowing where that person is, I ask the very simple question. If you were to lose your life today, what preparation have you made in your life to give you the 100% peace and confidence that you would be in the presence of God in heaven for all of eternity? What hope do you have? Because outside of the Lord Jesus Christ, there is no hope. Outside of the Lord Jesus Christ, there is no peace. And outside of the rest and the the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ in salvation. There is no peace for the heart of mankind because in sin, there is only fear of judgment because for every single action that I have done against God, I have to answer for it. But that is why Christ went to the cross. That is why you can read of the sufferings in such detail of the Lord Jesus Christ even prophesied in the Old Testament in the book of Lamentations it says, is it nothing to you, all ye that pass by? Behold and see, if there is any sorrow like unto my sorrow, which the Lord hath afflicted me in the day of his fierce anger. From above the Lord hath sent fire into my bones, and it prevailed against me. Then, so you can see in the Bible, that the anger of God for sin has been borne by a person, the Lord Jesus Christ, thousands of years ago. And it is because of this fact that I can have peace in the light of Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 27. 
that it is appointed unto man once to die. There is an appointment for everyone to meet that subject of death. And there is something else beyond that. Judgment for sin. Friend, I can have peace with God knowing that my sins were all taken care of at the cross. And I don't need to fear death. For friend, I know that death will take me into the presence of God. And it'll take me into heaven where I will remain for all of eternity in the presence of my Lord and my Savior. So I don't have to fear death. I can have peace on that matter. Knowing where I will be when I die. Friend, we're preaching that you can have that peace today. You can know 100% that you will never need to know the judgment for your sins. You'll never need to enter into the depth of being in hell forever. Friend, can I tell you, hell for all of eternity. That is how serious God has set aside that judgment. We can know how serious our sin is based on the punishment that's given for it. And if my sin has caused God to respond in such a strong way, hell for all of eternity that tells me in some small way what the lord jesus christ endured at the cross but friend we will never understand what that man the lord jesus christ went through because of the darkness that veiled our eyes it could never be written down what happened to the lord jesus christ men could write how they spit in his face about how they would pierce him with a spear they could read, write down how they beat him with their hands and took a crown of thorns and beat it into his head. But friend, men could never write down what happened at the cross in those hours of darkness because that was only between God and his beloved son, the Lord Jesus Christ. But friend, we have the evidence from the word of God, the evidence from God's holy word written, penned by the spirit of God to say that there is now forgiveness of sins. There is peace through the blood of his cross. Based on what Christ has done, sinners can be forgiven. There can be a hope of eternal life in the presence of God. The Lord Jesus said, let not your hearts be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. God wants you to be in heaven, but the Lord Jesus Christ said the words, If you believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sins. Where I am, you cannot come. So although God wants you to be in heaven, God has a character that is absolutely 100% righteous, and he cannot let one sin into heaven. So if you reject what God has provided, the one who can take your sins, who has borne your sins on the cross, if you reject that one and decide to remain in your sins, you are excluding yourself from heaven. You are condemning yourself in the presence of God. The Bible says, speaking about condemning oneself, if you believe not that I am he, you're condemned already talks about that in the Bible, talks about how we judge other people and we commend to condemn ourselves in the presence of God. Friend, how we stand before God in our sin is with absolutely nothing to say for ourselves, no good thing to say of ourselves. We have a heart and a nature that is directly opposed to the God of heaven, but that same God demonstrated his love towards you and me, that he would send his only begotten son to come into the world to save sinners that were so undeserving of his love that friends he would cry from the cross my god my god why hast thou forsaken me friend it is the most wonderful thing to think about the lord jesus christ was forsaken for me and for me alone and friend he was forsaken so that your soul could be in peace and fellowship with god for all of eternity and the Bible says, if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. There's words from the hymn and it says, it was for me, yes, all for me. Friend, there are people that are going to be in hell. 
and throughout eternity they will think of those words, understanding, growing up under the sound of the gospel with the realization that it was all for them. Everything that was done at the cross was all for them, yet they're in that place because they rejected God. Everyone that's going to be in heaven can say those words with honesty, that everything that happened at the cross, every bit of the sufferings of the Lord Jesus Christ, it was all for them. And friend, it can be for you today. You can come into the good of God's salvation that God has provided for lost, guilty sinners. You can be born again. You can have peace with God through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for listening. If you don't have a Bible, we invite you again to come take a Bible. May the Lord bless you and safety through the rest of the day. Thank you for listening again.